Temperatures are finally on the up and up after that week and a half of frigidly cold air. We got close to 50 today. We're going to be even warmer tomorrow and really for the next seven days, temperatures are going to be back into the 50s and 60s. So not quite warm, but I mean, my goodness, after those 20s and 30s for seven days in a row, this almost feels like summertime. I don't know about you, but I was able to get outside and enjoy some of that nice weather today. Speaking of that, here's the time lapse from our Bank First camera. And downtown Columbus is part of the Alpha Insurance Camera Network. Nothing but blue sky, not one cloud to be found. And that helped to warm us up a little bit and also to melt a lot of what's left of that ice. Notice there's not a lot down there. Uh, but there is still some ice around, especially on those shoulders of the roadways. We got up to 49 in Columbus today. 48 degrees was the high in Tupelo. Everybody in the Twin States got above freezing today, so that really helped to get some of that out of there. But hey, something cool I want to show you. This is our visible satellite product. So this is a camera up in space that's looking down, and we typically use this to show you where the clouds are, uh, but today there were no clouds, so we were able to look straight down onto the Earth's surface and see that snow cover. So everything you see in white here, that's not cloud cover. That's actually snow and ice. And even more interesting, if we put it into motion through the day today, once the sun came out, notice how it shrinks through the day. That's all that snow melting. Still a little bit of snow into eastern Arkansas and the Memphis area, but a lot of the ice and snow is gone out of our neck of the woods, and it does not look like we're going to have to worry about any more of that anytime soon. We're 45 degrees in Columbus right now under a mostly clear sky. Temperatures tonight going to fall down into the 20s and 30s. Really no weather to be concerned about tonight. Temperatures just going to be cold, and that means we've got one more night that we might have to worry about some patchy black ice, especially on the bridges and overpasses with all that ice melting into water, and then that water could refreeze. So just keep that in mind late tonight and tomorrow. If you see a puddle on the roadways, it's probably ice, and you should try to avoid it if at all possible. Tomorrow, 60 degrees, plenty of sunshine, feeling warmer. We do have a round of some showers that are going to move in Sunday night into early Monday morning, but most of that's going to be gone by Monday. As a matter of fact, sunshine going to return by Monday afternoon. Highs just a little cooler, but still warmer than what we've been used to with temperatures back into the 50s. So here's future clouds and radar. We wake up to sunshine tomorrow, but clouds will fill in by the afternoon and evening. And then there you see uh, after midnight Sunday going into early Monday morning, some light showers out there. But most of that is going to be out of here by 9 a.m. Monday, and then that's when the sunshine is going to return through the rest of the day. So a 40% chance of rain by Monday morning, more showers by next Thursday, and then it looks like we'll have another system to contend with next weekend. But none of this will be winter weather. It will all be rain, and I know most of us don't like rain, but at this point, I think we'll take those over any of the winter-related mess that we've been dealing with over the last several days. So 60 degrees tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. Looking good Tuesday and Wednesday, close to 70 degrees. And then again, rain by Thursday, more rain on Saturday. Courtney Roberts here with sports coming up. On